We all love electricity. Modern societies couldn't function without it and we're using more and more every day. But our love affair with electrical power comes at a cost, climate change. Power stations that use fossil fuels like coal or gas are a major source of greenhouse gas emissions. And that's where renewable energy comes in. Generating electricity using sources like wind, water or solar power causes almost no greenhouse gas emissions. EU governments have pledged that 20% of our energy will come from renewable sources by 2020. Today around a sixth of Europe's electricity already comes from renewables. This Franco-German hydroelectric power station on the River Rhine has been producing clean power for decades. But the proportion will have to increase to well over a third if Europe is to respect its 2020 commitment. The EU's Intelligent Energy Europe program is supporting projects designed to help reach this goal. The Optres project looked at how electricity producers can be encouraged to generate more power with renewables. The target of 20% renewable energies in the year 2020 is an ambitious but realistic target and therefore we will need a broad portfolio of renewable technologies in order to achieve such an ambitious target and in terms of policies first of all we have to rely and we have to build on the existing success stories in the different European member states. Spanish power firm Iberdrola is one of the world's biggest producers of renewable energy. This Iberdrola solar plant will power around 600 homes. The company participated in a project called the Realize Forum, which studied incentive schemes to encourage the development of renewables. Power sources like solar or wind energy don't produce a constant steady supply of power. So the transmission service operators, or TSOs, who control our power networks, must constantly balance varying supplies of renewable electricity with traditional sources. Spanish TSO REE is taking part in a project called RESPOND, which looked at this question of secure energy supplies. In Denmark, 20% of the country's power is, on average, generated by wind turbines. But wind energy sometimes satisfies all of Denmark's power needs, allowing the country to export surplus electricity. It is a prerequisite for a large-scale development of wind power that we have strong interconnectors to the neighbors, that we have strong power markets, and that we develop according to the needs of wind power. And consumers benefit from the fact that an increasing amount of the energy they use comes from clean renewable sources. Pierre Rosing Show has even bought shares in an offshore wind farm. I have actually 100% rain electricity because I have more wind power than here in the middle ground, so I have actually 100% rain energy here and rain electricity. Og det er en rigtig rar fornemmelse at vide, at, øh, at jeg er en del af, af løsningen frem for en del af problemet. Og det giver god samvittighed at, at vide, at det elektricitet, jeg bruger, ikke forårsager CO2. Så det er jeg godt tilfreds med. Increasing the amount of electricity Europe produces from renewable sources won't be easy, but with the right encouragement for renewables plus real efforts to reduce overall energy consumption, the power to make the change is in our grasp.